Was Chris still serving when he took his own life? No, he'd taken voluntary redundancy because he wanted the three of us to have a normal, stable life. When he last came home from Afghan, um, he'd changed. Something was gone out of his eyes. He wasn't the Chris that I'd married. We spoke about him getting help and he promised me that he would. And with Jamie, he was the same loving dad that he'd always been. Somebody close to him had told him he would look weak if he asked for help. And that was the last time I ever spoke to him. One sit down. So tell me, how do you find talking about it, Jamie? I've started talking about it a bit more, but before I was just storing it up. Safa helped me and my mum organising the funeral and helping my mum be strong so she could be strong for me. We found out on the Tuesday that Chris had died and I phoned Safa on the Wednesday and Sue, who was my caseworker, arranged to come round. The rest, they say, is history because she, she changed. Everything. Everything that we were going through. She was a very good heart to heart cups of tea, allowed me to be normal, not be the grieving wife or someone trying to get their eight-year-old through it. More importantly for me, and I found this the whole way through with Safa, not a single person has judged Chris for what he did. I, I know that there's numerous people in the London office or the Suffolk branch that I could phone at any time of the day or night and, it'd help you. and they would be there for us. And to know that you've got that support, it's, it's a lifeline, it yeah. really is.